Hi, welcome to A Watson Channel where I do unboxing for anime and video game collectibles. Today we'll be doing a room tour of the A Watson Studio. So we're excited to do the very first one ever for this channel. All right, let's, just, let's go. I have six cabinets in total. For this first cabinet, it's all my mechas and robots. So let's have a look. On the first shelf, we have my Neon Genesis Evangelion. So I have his Shinji. I got these during my trip in Japan 2017. Behind them are the Evangelion model kits. And then behind that is the Evangelion TV production concept arts. And here was just a random figure I got from a capsule machine in Japan. Next up, I have the uh, Android Cyborg display case. And Masato is in quite fit in the Evangelion collection. This is Alloy and the Watcher from Horizon Zero Dawn video game. I have the Magical Zanavi from Ghost in for sure. This is the design they use for the Plashing game, which you can see behind. And Misado. And then next to you have Cosmos from Senogis 2. And under her you have the Tachikoma from Ghost in the First Shell Stand and Complex and Pen Pen. And then you have the Fujikoma from the Ghost in the First Shell comics. And the shelf under that is all my actual makers. So we have here the Virtual Crew, my favorite guy being Tenji. I always used him in the Virtual game. These were mystery boxes, but I'm just amazed at the details that these came in. This is the Freedom Strike Gundam model kit, perfect grade. And under that, I have my Metal Gear Solid with the Metal Gear Rex, for my most favorite Metal Gear. Then behind Rex is Metal Gear Way, who is introduced in Metal Gear Solid 2. And then around them, you have the Dead Cell team from Metal Gear Solid 2, and then the EE MRM Rex, and then the Ninja and Plastic Snake. All right, on to the second cabinet. This is my newest addition, the Mega House Cowboy Bebop Spike and Faye First Geek Set. And then below that, I have the Sawfish 2 model kit and the mystery box of got these two, Jet Black and Ed. Iron is in Ed's backpack. The next cabinet is a mixture of where things that we fit. I have here, Samurai X or Lulin Kenshin, see in his face. The Hinata from Wild School of Arcade slash Splash in One Game. Beautiful Joe from the same game. Van Fesco Senku from Dr. Stone. And then behind there you have Lama Half and Sampu smooching away. And here we also have Naruto from the Naruto series. And next after that is the Dragon Ball Soul Saga Mega House Collection. I always found it a bit annoying that the special edition ones were just spray paint gold, where I much prefer fully colored. So I have a variety of scenes from the Soul Saga, as well as I like to have the comics covers as part of the display as well. And next one after that is Full Man Alchemist. We have Edward and Alphonse. And we really like how the Alphonse figure turned out. Probably one of my most favorite figure in the collection. Just love his pose and the scale of it, and even the little detail on his arm. Let's put this back. Also, the bases are pretty cool and matching as well. All right, on to the third one. It's also another anime cabinet. So, you have here Gohan from the Soul Saga doing Kame, Kamehameha. You have a more mystic Gohan. And then behind there you have One Punch Man, which was a Sega prize. And then you have Geno's, which was a good smile. I'm actually pretty happy with the way this came out. And it, was, it still is my only good smile figurine at this stage. Next shelf is the Demon Slayer. So you have the Kanjiwa, Anesuko, Inosuke, and Sunetsu. These are the Brian Presco ones. I think they turned out really great. Now here my Hero Academia, the Amazing Heroes figure series set. Now here Midori, Bakugo, and Shoto. And behind them is All Might from the Amazing Heroes 
figurine series. I really like how this came together as a set. Now that is one piece. So I guess this is all the really popular Sonon anime series. So you have, you have the Luffy and Solo, Frankie, always love my cyborgs. I think Grand Desco, Sanjin. And then this was behind there is a paper craft. This is a gift from my brother. The next two cabinets, three and four, are a collection that's very close to my heart as well. These are the Final Fantasy collection, and you may have noticed something different about these cabinets as well. All right, let's get into it. So we have here my Final Fantasy IX print arts, and these were some of the very first unboxing videos I made for this channel, and Kana and Ico being the newest edition, whereas Stana and Vivi were my first unboxing. And then you have Game Below. Under that, it's the Final Fantasy VII remake figures they release. So they have the trading art, it's really nice detailed. And then you have the massive play arts Kai, which is quite expensive actually. And then I have the uh, deluxe edition uh, tin box. And then you have here the polygon cloud. And then that is Tifa, which was quite a popular photo that I posted on Instagram. So they have here the trading arts Tifa, so as for the polygon version. And this is a resin that I picked up in 2006. And here you have here the original game, Pleasure in One game. Under that is my Cloud Strife from Advent Children with his bike. This is the first version, so it doesn't come with the extra accessories. And have here the Winston Wesson. And behind that is my Advent Children DVD. So part two of the Final Fantasy Field Collection. So here we have quite a mixture of my collection. I have Renoa and unfortunately I broke one of my polygon figures. And there I have Red 13, Reno. And then I have here my Final Fantasy Train Art from 2006. So Cloud, Yuna and Lulu. And here you have the Final Fantasy VIII Brain Arts. This is not Brain Art Kai, so that's a small scale. I actually prefer this scale. So you have Score, Renoa and selfie, and then the Final Fantasy VIII game, and then the Bohemian statue from the game as well. Below that we have the barrier setup, so trading art and polygon, quite like barrier. And we think these are the figures that the figures are really good on details, better than Catherine's form. And I think barrier, quite an amazing figure. But like, as you can see, he is huge, even in my hands. And I love with version 2, which come now him to take his glasses off. I'm hoping they do a statue app like they did with Arif. Alrighty. So here we have the Arif statue app. I think it turned out really great. I think the way it captured Arif's face, as well as the trading art, and then the polygon, and the game box behind her. And then below that is Sephiroth. Personally, I'm a little bit over the Sephiroth character. Then you have the Collect Edition tin box from the DVD. So these are the other non-Japanese figures. Most of them are US release. All right, let's have a look. And here we have made it to the Star Wars. So I have here the Star Wars Rebels. The Black Series collection, and that was a massive unboxing video that I made. I'm really happy with the way it turned out, and I was able to do some new stand for them, which we'll be doing a review. And next, I have my Mandalorian shelf. I have the Mandalorian one that uh, Din Djarin, which is face mask can come off, which is pretty great. And Baby Yoda, which is um, quite Teeny little size of baby Yoda in my hands. Have the armor. This is a great Funko Pop gift from a friend. And now that is my Clone Wars shelf. So I have the good Disney Infinity set, which also includes the Soka. And then I got these toys from the Sydney Easter Show. And also quite a dawn from Easter Show. And then I have the VHS version of episode one, the episode two limited edition box and then have a second standing 
on the Epsilon 3 DVD box. And last but not least, not the Star Wars, more Star Wars, but my comics and the Assassin's Creed, Ezio, and then Spawn, as well as a Batman that was a gift from a friend, and then I have Hellboy behind all that. And that wraps up all the cabinets, and we're just moving on to the side corner now. First up, you'll probably see the, the giant Zelda backdrop. This was a gift from my brother as well. And I have another figure, which is the Heretic Bahamut. I have here the Army Army postcard that came with the deliveries. Here, you might recognize this tablecloth. This is actually the table that I used for filming the unboxing. Here's my sound equipment and camera equipment. On the side, it's a stand. This is what I've been using for those uh, 360 videos. The shiny base, the spotters of Amazon. But yeah, welcome to the poster side of the studio. So this is what is usually facing away from the camera when I'm filming. So I have a Cub Bebop, which is one of my all-time favorite series. My Hero Academia season one poster. Psycho Mob 100, who is done by the same creator as One Punch Man, which is next to that, which has all the S Class heroes. Attack on Titan, a Star Wars poster, characters from all six prequel and original trilogy. Uh, Naruto, these are all the Shippuden characters. And then you might see in a lot of my videos the Dragon Ball Z villain poster. And also above those, there's a few more up the top. So I have a Marvel poster. And now a kind of Bebop. I think this is from the movie actually. And then a Star Wars Clone Wars character poster. And here I have my workstation. This is where I create the YouTube videos. Then I have a dual monitor set up. I use the screen for my PlayStation gaming as well. Playing through the last of us part two. I use an uh, iMac. I just like the file system. And at the moment, I just finished working on one of the Cowboy kind of Bebop Instagram posts. And here you have my audio gear I'm recording right now. Computer chair with a computer that says love. And then next to that is my cabinets. So that concludes the tour. If you enjoyed this video so far, and give me a like, this will help out the video. If you'd like to see more photos of my cabinet, check Instagram, more videos of my figures, check out the unboxing videos here. Thanks for joining me on the tour, and I'll see you next time. Bye.